Hello all, welcome to Paraguide video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to transform data using Apache Spark. So our objective for this tutorial would be setting up project with Scala and installing dependencies for our project. Our second objective would be using Flatmap to reduce and transform data. And our final output would be demonstration of word count application. So as you can see, I have already opened my Eclipse ID for this project. You need to have Eclipse. Now, as you can see, I have created a project named Spark Transformation. So the project structure would be important and you should know how I have created it. So first you need Scala for that. For that, you can go to help section and install new software section. If you go to this section, you will have a link available software sites by going to this as you can see in my case Scala is already installed and it is ticked you have to search for Scala and install it with this you will have a new Scala project option add in your file section so as you can see now you can create a new Scala project so if I will go to do this let's say if I will give it name as sample and I will create it. So now your Scala project is added. Now you have to convert it to Maven project. With Maven, you will have a ease to add dependency to your project. With Maven, you will have a file name pom.xml is getting created in your application. So this pom will help us to add dependency to our project. So now this is for the project creation. As you can see, I have created a similar project spark transformation. And now this is my pom.xml file. So now what you have to do, you have to add Apache spark in your one of the dependency in your project. And please make sure you will have to have a stable spark version with Scala so that you will not mess up around with the problems with the dependencies so please make sure you should have a, a good compatible spark version with your scala version so now what you have to do you have to create a file.txt file in your project so in our in this application what we are going to do is we will count the frequency of each word in this file so let's say as you can see in my application i have Return some number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, double 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. So in this, I have frequency of 1 is 4 because 1 is repeating 4 times here, 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 and here. So the frequency of 1 is 4. So my program, what my program would should do is uh, it will show me the frequency of 1 as 4. So if I will ask my program what is the frequency of any number in my this file is 3 so it will show me 1 and 2 because 1 is have frequency of 4 and 2 has frequency of 3 so both are above 3 so it will show me two numbers 1 and 2 so this is our application and this is our motive to achieve in this tutorial so now moving on to our application I will create two main files main.scala file and transformation.scala file so in main.scala file this is a main object in our application now with this I will simply define a method main and I will write a print statement so that we get to know our application is up and running execution in spark you can write anything so it's just an indication whether your application has started or not now I will call transformation dot transform function from transformation object so now let's move to transformation dot scala so as you can see in this I have this transformation object now what I have done I have done two main configuration you need to have these configuration in your file as to get your spark up and running so now you can give any name to it. I have given it a name as transformation in spark dot set master. 
now what i will do the threshold i am talking about earlier is the frequency or the occurrence of any character in my file would be a val i will give my argument 1 to it i will tell you about how to pass argument in your application now what i will do is i will read each value from the text file and split it with my code and i will tokenize it now what i will do is i will count the occurrence of each word using map now with reduce by key method now with this i will filter out the occurrence of each word count with my threshold with this i will have my output as whatever the value i want in my output using my argument so now with me my project being set up and my code is being written i will go to run as and run configuration section now as you can see you will pass argument here as i have given my file is file.txt and my argument is 4 so but it will give me the occurrence of whatever number or character occurred four times in my application so as you can see i have as i have already showed you one is occurred four times so it will show me one as my final output i will later change it to three so that it will show me one and two in this way we can confirm our program is up and running so now i will run it as you can see this execution in spark as i have already wrote there is giving me indication my spark is up and running now it's running so now as you can see i have uh, put a uh, system dot out there for word count 4 so it has taken argument as 4 and it has returned me 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 is the occurrence of 1 as 4 times in my application is shown here in this way so what will happen if i will change this and i will change the occurrence of according to my threshold so let's say if i will set my threshold to 3 so now it should show me 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 1 as the final output so if this would do the case then we have successfully created an application that will show the transformation of our data using apache spark so now it's up and running so now as you can see it is showing me 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 1 as the desired resulting output so in this way we can have a transformation of data using apache spark so now moving back to our target the best practices we have followed followed in this application would be we have checked for spark and scala compatibility to avoid any rush or to avoid any pain while uh, creating an application and doing transformation so we we need to have a check on spark and scala compatibility while installing it second thing we need to have to convert our project to maven so that it will ease down our installing of dependencies to our project third one would be since spark is in scala so all the new features would be is in scala or java and so if you will allow to install dependencies with python or r they will lack new features and since apache maven is uh, uh, by apache so with maven also that's why we say maven is for good best practices because it will allow you to add dependencies that are uh, already is in uh, java or scala so in this way we should always uh, make sure our project is in maven and we should use dependencies that are written in scala and third one would be uh, fourth one would be gracefully dealing with bad input data set so whatever the data we are providing with file.txt file we should always make sure the data would be in 
good shape that is not putting data that are wrong and otherwise it will what uh, spark will do is uh, it will uh, negotiate the data or it will remove the data or not just like ignoring the data it will ignore the data and the your output would be a bit different from what you are expecting so what you can do next with it you can test this word count on real case scenarios with huge data so that you can check what is the performance and whatever the test case you need to have with it other transformation can be used such as map join reduce by key co group so other transformations are also available with this you can extend this application with apache kafka as data source for all of your data and another thing you can do is you can deploy your this application on cluster of cloud by creating master and slave nodes so in this way you can have your application to a large scale so that's all for tutorial thank you